Yahar mateys! Welcome to Sea of Thieves. This is Dam Ron. We're playing the new Legends of the Sea update that just came out. And in this video, I'm going to show you all of the commendation locations. We're going to get all 62 in the most efficient and effective way possible going around the map. I'm going to take you from the start to the finish. We're going to get everything, including the journal locations. If there is a specific uh, commendation that you're looking for, I will have time stamped in the comments as well as the description every single commendation that we're going to be getting as we're going through so check that out if you're looking for a specific one if you're new to my channel again if you like my stuff guys feel free to like and subscribe i just do this as a hobby and for fun but if you like it feel free to like and subscribe hit the bell to get notified when i put new stuff up so let's go ahead and get right into this all right so we're going to start our adventure in the lagoon of whispers which is in the shores of plenty and we have to talk to Umbra to kind of learn of this new DLC. But five of the commendations are for talking to her with certain cosmetics equipped. Uh, the first of which is the Legacy Beard. So we want to equip that. And then the hair dye is the Amethyst Angel Hair for the Purple Pretty commendation. And then we want to wear a Sea Dog Peg Leg for the Pirate Leg End commendation. And then also you want to put on the uh, One Stream Sailor uh, makeup to get the charitable pirating commendation. So once you have all of those equipped, you can wear all of them at the same time. We're ready to actually begin our adventure. Um, and that is going to again start at the Lagoon of Whispers in the southwestern portion of the map. And we are going to go in the most efficient way to get all these commendations for you very, very easily. I will also say we're going to be going on a 20 nautical mile journey. So be sure you put a voyage down to get credit towards miles towards one of your other, uh, you know, commendations that you need. Anyway, so head to the Lagoon of Whispers and you're going to talk to Umbra. And if you go down, and you say you need to show her something you can actually now show her all of those four items that we just equipped and each of those are tied to the um, commendation that we mentioned earlier and then finally you're also going to get a commendation just for talking to her and that's going to be a living history so that's five of the commendations off the board and again we're going to be starting in the shores of plenty and from here we're going to be moving around the map and getting everything in one kind of adventure so let's get right to it and we're going to start by going west a little bit south you know west by southwest from laguna whispers to mermaids hideaway and you can see i'm kind of parked on the eastern shore here and the first thing we're going to get is sleeping with the fishes which is found on the eastern kind of southeastern shore of mermaids hideaway you're going to see these bones here kind of reaching up on this rock you want to interact with the rock for that commendation from this, we're going to head into the pond of Mermaid's Hideaway, where I'm sure many of you uh, caught all your pondies. Uh, it's a very popular spot, but once you get here to the left of the pond, you're going to see this dog sign here to interact with that for our Dog Days commendation. From that, we're going to head inland, and we're going to go up the southern hill of Mermaid's Hideaway, all the way to the tip of the island on the top south end, and you're going to find this wooden structure here. On the back side of the wooden structure on the post is our next collectible. Moving on, we're going to be going east of the Laguna Whispers to Wander's Refuge. And at Wander's Refuge, we're just going to launch ourselves all the way up to the top of the island where all these kind of ruined structures are. And you're going to find this particular one right here. And on the side of it is this poster for our next commendation. From Wander's Refuge, we're going to continue east to Reaper's Hideout, and we're going to launch ourselves to the northwest portion of Reaper's Hideout, where Stitcher Jim actually was in a previous update, and you're going to see this kind of broken down tent here on the back is this Merrick's journal. Now for this one, you do need to actually read through the entire journal to get the Merrick roll commendation. From Reaper's Hideout, head northwest to Cannon Cove. There's two that we're going to get here, and the first one is Helping Hands. So we're in the cove of the Cannon Cove Island here. And basically, just go ahead and launch yourself inland. And this big rock right here, right in front of me, if you walk right up to the rock, you're going to see some etched names into it. Interact with that for our next commendation. 
from this rock we're going to head inland to the cave that's basically right in the center of the map i'm sure many of you have been there on several quests or you've been there several times so you should know where this is it's right in the middle of cannon cove this big cave and when you walk in you're going to see a dagger on a barrel that's what you need to interact with the actual dagger All right, moving on to Golden Sands Outpost, which is slightly west of Cannon Cove. Uh, there's a good many to get here. Uh, once you get to the dock, just head to inland, go to the right-hand side, and we're going to go up to the Weaponsmith building. And on the back side of this building is a sign that we need to interact with for our next commendation. From this sign, let's go ahead and head into the tavern portion of the island. And just outside of the tavern, you're going to see some picnic tables, one of which has two tankards that are going to be our next commendation. From there, go ahead and head into the tavern itself. And right to the right of the fireplace is the killer qualifications commendation. From that sign on the wall, let's head outside, head right, and on the next portion, kind of on the this side of Golden Sands Outpost, you're going to see this water tower. At the bottom of the water tower is a skeleton with a large you know, list that you need to interact with to get points of contention. Moving on to Crescent Isle, which is northwest of Golden Sands Outpost. This is going to be our first Legends of the Sea journal. And if you go to the kind of southern side of the crest, kind of south of the middle, you'll see this cave entrance. Uh, right next to it is kind of these broken barrels with the journal in it. All right, moving on to Sanctuary Outpost, which is northeast of Crescent Isle. Um, so let's go ahead and head on to the dock here. And next to the shipwright on this post, you'll see a bucket hanging. Interact with that bucket for our next commendation. From here, we're just going to launch ourselves into the water over here, uh, into this island portion of Golden's or sorry, Sanctuary Outpost, and you'll find this structure. On the inside of this structure, in this bag, you need to interact for the cross commendation. All right, next up is not just for sweeping, so we're going to head to the inner portion of the outpost to the tavern. And before you actually go into the tavern, look up to see this sign that says George Kraken on it. And you want to interact with that sign for that commendation. Once you've gotten that, head into the tavern and look to your right. Just to the right of the fireplace is a flag with three monkey heads on it. Interact with that for our next commendation. And then turn around on the opposite wall in the tavern is a picture. Interact with that picture for the still life commendation. From here, let's head back outside the tavern, and now we're going to turn left and go to the northern aspect of the island. You're going to see this water tower on this portion of the island. Once you get here, turn around to these rocks, and you should see this barrel with bananas on it. You actually need to inspect the barrel. Opening the barrel will not get it. Be sure you inspect it. Of course, you can always open the barrel and grab some bananas as well. Next up, we're going to Sailor's Bounty for Pirates in Portrait. You can see I'm on the southern portion of the largest island in the center of Sailor's Bounty. And on the southern beach, you're going to find this kind of camp right here. And if you go into that and look on the ground, you'll see some paintings for your next commendation. Moving on to Smuggler's Bay, which is just kind of east by northeast uh, from where we just were. There's a few to grab into here. You can see I'm parked on the western side of Smuggler's Bay. So we're going to kind of go from the west and from this kind of beach-like portion, head into the center of the island. And on your way, when you see this rock right here, you should see a little painting of a hook with a chest on it. Interact with that for our next commendation. 
from this, we're actually going to head quite a bit into the top ridge of Smuggler's Bay. And we need to go all the way to the top of the island and to the other side. So just follow this path and eventually you'll see this target that's on some boards. Interact with that for the next commendation. From this, now we're going to turn right, we're going to drop down off the main ledge, kind of, we're going to drop down a level, and then turn right, kind of towards the center of the cove here at Smuggler's Bay, and there's a cave. Go inside that cave, all the way to the back, and you're going to find a book next to some green candles. Interact with that for our next commendation. From this, let's just head back out to the entrance of the cave, immediately turn right to this camp right here to find our painting on this bench for our next commendation. Alright, moving on to Salty Sands, which is just east of Smuggler's Bay, and we're going to jump off onto this island. We're going to go to the southern island of these kind of islets here and we're going to look for this painting on this rock for the run aground combination moving on south from where we just were we're going to go to lone cove this is south of salty sands and we want to launch ourselves to kind of the middle of the island you'll know where that is because there's that large rock that's in the middle of this island and as you can see, we're going to go to the southern side of this rock, to this little awning here. And once you go through it, turn around, and you'll find the next commendation sitting on the post here. Moving on a little bit more south by southeast, we're going to Hidden Spring Keep. Once you get to Hidden Spring Keep, go ahead and jump off onto the island. And if you look to the southwest of the keep, you're going to see this tower that has a ladder on it. Climb that ladder, and just beside the brazier is our next book. Alright, from there, we're going to go directly east, so east of Hidden, Hidden Spring Keep to Daggertooth Outpost. And we have a couple to grab here, so let's jump off the dock, and we're going to head all the way inland to the outpost itself. Um, so go ahead and go all the way in there. Once you get into the tavern, look just to the left of the bar for this sign for our next commendation. From this sign, we're going to head out of the outpost and go to the right, and you're going to see this water tower. On the left post of that water tower is a sign, pew pew, for our next commendation. From Daggertooth Outpost, we're going to head northeast all the way to Sharkfin Camp, which is a keep, a skeleton keep. Go into that camp, and where the water kind of spews out to this gate, turn around and look up on the gate for our next commendation. From Shark Fin Camp, we're going to head northwest to the Wild Treasure Store, the sea post, and just to the right of the merchant is a hammock, and just below that hammock is our next book. From the Wild Treasure Store, head northeast again to Marauder's Arch. You can see I'm on the northern portion of Marauder's Arch, and we want to, you know, from that northern portion, we want to head towards the fort uh, that's sort of on the back of Marauder's Arch. You can see it right there. It's a little foggy, but don't go into the fort. Before that, look right, and you'll see this tunnel. 
Just before that tunnel is poor Griffin eating a banana. Be sure you in inspect Griffin himself and not actually the book for this commendation. Alright, from Marauder's Arch, we're going to head south to Galleon's Grave. There's three to grab here. The first one is right on the dock. As soon as you jump on the dock, go next to the Merchant Alliance vendor to find this commendation of a hat and a parcel next to these box. From this, we're going to head inland a little bit. As soon as you get off the dock, head left to go up the hill. And at the clothing store, turn right to go all the way to the weaponsmith. Outside the weaponsmith is a swinging target with a bullet hole right in the middle. Interact with that for our next commendation. From this target, we're going to head up to the top of Galleon's Grave. Once you get to the very top portion of Galleon's Grave, the last ladder, immediately look right and down and you're going to see a dog bowl to interact with for our next commendation. From Galleon's Grave, we're going to continue south to Kraken's Fall, directly south, all the way to uh, Kraken's Fall. You can see I'm kind of on the easternmost portion of Kraken's Fall. And we're actually going to launch to the southeastern side, uh, where Penelope is, actually. And if you look behind her, you're going to see some Kraken bones. You're going to see a big Kraken spine, and next to it, a single Kraken vertebra. In that vertebra is our next Legends of the Sea. From Kraken's Fall, we're going to head west by northwest to the Crooked Mass. This is kind of a difficult one, but if you go to the northern aspect, to the largest you know, peak in Crooked Mass, you'll see this platform that you need to land on. This was from where the lantern in the Festival of the Dam was, where you had to light this brazier. So um, if you haven't done that, be sure you take a Flame of Fate up here as well. Once you finally land on this platform, um, directly to the right of the brazier itself, in the wood is the next book for our commendations. Continuing west, a slightly north, to Shipwreck Bay, we have a couple to grab here. Um, you can see this very characteristic broken boat. Um, you all know this by now. Go to the captain's quarters of this boat at Shipwreck Bay. Immediately turn around from the captain's table, and in a crate in front of this chair is our next book for the Legends of the Sea. From this, we're just going to head through the back of the boat, kind of heading in the west direction. And once you kind of get to the back of the boat, you want to turn around. And on the back side of these rocks, you're going to see two feet sticking out of the ground. Interact with the rock above those feet for our next commendation. Moving on to the Fort of the Damned, which is south of Shipwreck Bay, maybe slightly a little bit west. But once we get to the Fort of the Damned, we want to head to the top of the fort. And a good place of reference is the entrance of the fort itself. From here, turn left, and you're going to see this tower that has a ladder on it. Climb the ladder. As soon as you get to the top, immediately turn around to find the book next to this post. From the Ford of the Damned, let's head southwest to Snake Island. And on Snake Island, we're going to go to the largest of the three islands, which is the Center Island. Go all the way to the top of that Center Island, and you'll find this Snake Shrine. On the left of the, shri of the Snake Shrine is a Snake Basket. <laughs> and on that Snake Basket is a note. And that note will give us our next commendation. From Snake Island, let's continue west to Chicken Isle to get dances with the chickens. Once you get to Chicken Isle, we're going to head to the southwestern portion of the island. And on the inner side of a rock, we're looking for this painting for our next commendation. From Chicken Isle, we're going to go uh, southwest all the way to the finest trading post. 
and on the finest training post just go all the way to the back merchant and on the back wall you'll see this ship model uh, you probably have to jump on the counter to actually be able to interact with this uh, but once you do we'll get our next commendation putting the ship in friendship next up is familial resemblance we're heading southeast to shark bait cove and we're going to head to the southwesternmost outer ring. And on the beach of that outer ring, eventually you'll see, if you keep walking around, you'll see a picture of Merrick and his son. Interact with that for our next commendation. From this picture, we're going to kind of basically just head north. You know, you want to go to the inner islands, but essentially you want to go to the north portion of shark bait code and just follow the path that i'm taking here and essentially on the northern inner part of the outer ring you'll see a cave entrance um obviously just watch right here so i'm heading kind of north on the inner portion of the northern out outermost ring is this cave entrance go into that cave turn right and all the way to the end you'll find this book near the end of the hall near the shark shrine and again this is one you have to actually click through or at least I did in order to pop the commendation so don't press B in the middle moving on from shark bait cove we're gonna go north to the lost gold fort and we're gonna launch ourselves up into the actual fort itself go to the bottom portion in the back of the bottom portion on a post is a list of rich pirates in the first days of Sea of Thieves. From Lost Gold Fort, let's head east to Plunder Outpost. On Plunder Outpost, we're going to head into the actual tavern itself. Once you get into the tavern, just look to the left for a little plaque to interact for our next commendation. Now, still at Plunder's Outpost, but we're actually going to uh, get back in the boat, and we're going to head to the kind of water of the northeastern portion of Plunder Outpost. And this is a good spot to be because it gives you the most surface area to land on. We actually are going to aim for this rock here that has that kind of green moss on it. And if you shoot from the northeastern portion of the water, it gives you a lot of surface area to land on. You can see here, you got this large slope that you can hit and land on that pretty easily. And then look over the next ledge to find this charred body. Interact with that for our next commendation. Heading east from Plunder Outpost, we're going all the way to Crow's Nest Fortress. And at Crow's Nest Fortress, we need to land on the center tower, which is a kind of a difficult shot. But eventually, once you land on the top portion, you will need to drop down onto the platform, and you'll see kind of a painting of an eagle. Interact with that, and that'll be the next commendation. I guess a crow, not an eagle. It makes sense. It's Crow's Nest Fortress. All right, from Crow's Nest Fortress, we're going to continue a little more east, maybe northeast, right? East by northeast to Ancient Spire Outpost. And we're going to go ahead and hop on to Ancient Spire Outpost. And when you get here, go inside of the equipment shack. In the equipment shack on the left side, you'll find a violin that you need to interact with. From the violin, let's go ahead and head up to the tavern itself, and we're going to get the and not a drop spilled commendation by interacting with a small sign above the door just before you enter the tavern itself. Once you go into the tavern, immediately look left for a picture of some well-dressed pirates to get dressed to impress. From Ancient Spire Outpost, we're going to head south to Devil's Ridge. We're going to go to the southern portion of Devil's Ridge, and if we look out onto the island, you can see this rock with the kind of overhanging 
uh, vegetation that's what we need to go to and you don't need to shoot on it you know there's a path up there so just shoot over here and walk out to the tip of that rock for our next legends of the sea from there we're gonna go to the devil's thirst so now we're going all the way east into the devil's roar to the devil's thirst and we're going to the southernmost tip of this island if coming from the southern tip and you're kind of going up the hill, the first kind of structure you see on your right is this ship hall kind of converted to some shelter. Go inside of that, behind the ammo crate is a crate on the ground with our next Legends of the Sea book. From here, we're gonna head north to Moro's Peak Outpost. This is our final stop. Um, because here we're gonna do a couple things one hop off onto the dock and just to the right of the Merchant Alliance is a note on a crate for our next commendation now from here kill yourself any way you like uh, whatever method you see fit but the next place that we need to go is the Ferry of the Damned on the Ferry of the Damned just b uh, beside the door you exit this right kind of statue there's a skeleton statue on the left and right on the right bottom one is a carved name you need to interact with Now for our final commendation, which is the Legends of the Sea 6th book, you'll actually need to get to the Pirate's Hideout, or the Legendary Pirate's Hideout. Um, you can do that from any outpost, as long as you are a Pirate Legend, or someone that is a Pirate Legend opens the door for you, so keep that in mind. I was at Moro's Peak, so this is where we did it. Um, once you open it and head into the hideout itself, we're going to head back to where the band is playing. And to the left of the band on the wall back here, you'll see a shelf with the Legends of the C6 on the wall. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. That's going to be all the commendations in the Legends of the C portion of your bilge rat section in your commendations so i hope you guys found this helpful i tried to show you the most efficient way to get every single commendation um showed you in under 30 minutes so i hope you guys found it helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you like my stuff feel free to like and subscribe i have the full tall tale series up um, if you need help with that i'll link that here um, as well as a bunch of other fun gameplay videos uh, from Sea of Thieves and other games. So check it out, and I appreciate you if you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you on the seas.